gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. One of Sony's, Sony's chief financial officer stated that whether it's for games, films, or anime, we don't have that much IP that we fostered from the beginning. Now, when this came out, even you and I had a discussion offline about all of the IPs that Sony does have that they're not doing anything with. To, I guess, to hone in on what he meant, like reading more of the article that I found on uh, IGN, is that mm -hmm. he was referring to like an IP that could be the face of Sony. Like how Nintendo has Mario. Like when you think Nintendo, you go Mario. And That's, with Microsoft, you go Halo. Right. So when you think of Sony, what what does your mind go to? If you had to pick one sole character, quickly, without thinking probably, about it. Cr probably Kratos. God of, Kratos from God of War? Yeah. I can see that, but like... Is it would you put Kratos up there as like brand wise with Mario? No, here's the thing though nobody's touching Mario. Zelda is Link from Legend of Zelda. Folks don't even know that Link's name is Link till this day, but that but that's still Nintendo. But I think what they're saying is that when you look at Sony, because your answer would be different from my answer, Sony, I might say, damn, Spider Man. I was just and, thinking and, and, every, and everybody's answer of like who do you feel like is the face of Sony is going to be different. But if you ask somebody who's the face of Nintendo, nine times out of ten, somebody's going to tell you, "Ain't that Mario and them?" Well, yeah, but the thing is, Sony ain't finna have Kratos in a kart racing game while also having him fighting with other people I, for hand. But I think that's the point. I think that's yeah. the, I think that's the point that they don't they feel like they don't have enough original IPs that they can use at that level as Mario okay. can be used. Mario is driving cars, playing golf, baseball, tennis, basketball. Tennis, basketball. He fighting folks, Smash Bros. He done been to the Olympics multiple he times. He done went to the Olympics. He got a billion dollar movie in the box office. That was Sony, really good. Sony, Sony No T no shade. Sony can only do that with Spider-Man if they combine it with the shit going on in the MCU. And even Microsoft had a Halo series. It was trash. They've had they've made multiple attempts at putting Halo on film. They were all trash, but they can still do it. So I I understood because when we talked about this at first, I was like, there seems to be a disconnect because they have IPs, but the the sole concern is that they don't have an IP to where you could ask multiple people who's the face of Sony and they would give you the same answer. I get that. Here's the thing. I do get that. But I mean, that's almost not a bad thing because in my, because in my opinion, if I look at Microsoft, like Halo's the face, but that's also because Microsoft ain't have that many exclusives before they start doing all these acquisitions. Mm -hmm. Like prior to Halo, like I think the first Assassin's Creed or two was solely on Xbox. But like outside of Halo, what other IPs do Microsoft got? Now with these acquisitions, like before all of these acquisitions occurred in the past five years, what did you think of when you think of Microsoft Xbox? You would say to yourself, I don't feel like playing Halo yeah. or Forza. Yeah. And I was, I, I definitely agree with you. Is that necessarily a bad thing that you guys don't have a Mario, a Sony Mario? Is that a bad thing? Because that's just unique to Nintendo. Part of it is their longevity. Mario has been on even more consoles than Sony and Microsoft has pushed out. Mm hmm And let, let's not even go into Donkey Kong and how Mario's brand expands out to other iconic characters. Because mm -hmm. it's not just... Mario is the Mario franchise. You got Bowser, you got Peach, you got DK, who all had their own games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, I get it, but do y'all know how long it would take? To build but yeah, there out. couldn't be no Sony land at Universal Studios, but yeah, we can make a Mario land. Do you know how long it would take to do that? Y'all gotta make like 10 more Sly Coopers. Yeah. I, that's why I don't, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I honestly feel like you, I... Maybe the thing that they're complaining about is the thing that could make Sony unique, that we can't just pin them down to one 
franchise and say this is the face of Sony. That when you think of Sony, you think of on one end of the spectrum Spider-Man, the other's end of the spectrum God of War, Jack and Dexter, and all of these other IP franchises. That could be the point that makes them unique. See, okay, because when I... When I saw the article, I was confused because I'm like, are y'all saying y'all ain't making enough money and y'all don't feel like y'all have enough games that y'all can create? But if it's just a branding thing, even then I'm like, even with my business mind, I can't think of how that's really much of an issue because you have so many brands and IPs that people do appreciate. You can bring any of them back. Y'all can make a kill zone. When was the last kill zone released? They, they I don't know, but they're saying they're seeing it as an issue. What the article I read said um has enough franchises that it has fostered from the beginning calling it an issue for the company as it seeks to rival its competitors in the space it's beating microsoft and when it comes to nintendo i mean y'all still out beating them when it comes to graphics a lot of nintendo fans are getting sick of nintendo you and me have all complained you and me have complained about nintendo and that's not a my well it might be a minority opinion but the minority has some support Mm -hmm. in terms of we sick of how y'all doing these graphics we sick of the fact that pokemon ain't evolved in years like y'all trying some new stuff with arceus and all that but y'all still ain't producing nothing of quality anymore we still dealing with these long loading screens and etc i i just i I just wonder if they feel like they just don't have a franchise that they could just shoot out and it just makes money like like this. Whoop. Because when that, because you just complain about Nintendo and that's fair. But when Mario Kart 9 drops, damn well. <clears throat> yeah, Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers at no, this I, point are still guaranteed what? buys. But They're damn, guaranteed. It, guaranteed buys keyword guaranteed buys is it possible that sony feels like even though we have all of these ips and all of these franchises that is always a risk that when we put out a game that is not going to be a guaranteed buy well then is it well then my issue would be if that's their perspective is it because you don't have any ips that you fostered or is it because not all of your ips are just family friendly Because the thing about Mario Kart, even if you're not one of those, I'm a kid at heart and I just grew up on Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. I was playing Mario Kart with my mama when I was eight years old because she could pick it up and play it easily. I was playing Super Mario Sluggers with my dad and he ain't much of a gamer. He played Dig Dug and Pac-Man when he was a kid in arcade, Mm -hmm. but even he could just pick it up and play. I just wonder if because Nintendo has fostered their brand to be family friendly, that they can do stuff like this and then playstation and xbox are and sometimes seen as mature consoles and then if we even look at the elite gamer stuff right and even if we look at the games that they're producing now like some of these games are like mature off the gate the graphics are insane like Mm -hmm. i mean here here's my thing here's my thing because the way we was talking about it, we was going from the perspective of, oh, do they just feel like they don't got enough IPs to make video games because Microsoft has so right. many? And my issue, even with that argument, was, well, they're still ahead. Microsoft ain't pushed nothing out yet. Mm-hmm. They ain't pushed nothing. Like, we finna get Call of Duty 6, but it's already uh, understood that they finna have that on Sony and everything, other consoles as well. Maybe they're just looking for, maybe they're just looking for that one one idea that when they come out with it, it latches on and they can push and they can come up with so many different things instead of like, let's go in the bucket. Let's pull out Jack and Dexter. Do you guys think you can do anything with this? Well, the funny thing is it used to be that Sony was the only console you could play JRPGs on, but now it seems like Microsoft is starting to build those relationships with Japanese publishers and Nintendo being that it's already out there. If the game ain't too um, demanding on the Mm -hmm. processing power and graphical power, Nintendo will have it on the Switch. So, I guess it also depends on what market they're trying to play into as well. And I, that's I my feel thing. like I feel like because it sounds like because the article specifically mentioned Mario, they said that they were referring to the business as a whole, which is lacking in homegrown properties on the scale of, say, Mario, and. Nothing will touch Mario. There's nothing but, that's going but, to touch Mario. And that's fair, but also, like how you just mentioned, 
Mario is like E for everyone from like Gen Z all the way up to our parents. Like anybody can play Mario. A Mario game can come out right now and you can get the whole community sitting down on the couch and playing Mario Kart. I feel like that's what they want. Like everybody just can't sit on the couch and play Spider-Man. My dad's not going to play Spider-Man. My mom ain't either. That's what I'm saying. But but that's the thing though, like it, like okay, I'm gonna concede to this. I understand that, mm-hmm. but the effort to make Mario Mario is literally like just look at the history. He's a regular plumber. <laughs> the man goes up and down pipes. Like in retrospect, if I was to pitch that to you now and you knew nothing about Mario, you're like, what type of stupid mess is that? But and he now eat, and he eat mushrooms to get big. I'd be like, is this man on drugs? Where the mushrooms even come? From? Exactly. Drugs. So now. <laughs> So now you make one, two, three games. We put we he eats a leaf and turns into a squirrel. Now we put him in cars. Now we put him in all types of different sports. Now we got his brother going through a hunted mansion. Mm-hmm. Now we got his the, the gorilla friend jumping through forest. Like let's just talk about it. Like unless Sony is finna build a lineage for the next 10, 15 years, that is a big investment. But Nintendo like, was just throwing darts and they just happened to stick. But I feel like that's what they want. I, I feel like that's what they want. And I feel like the issue could be is that they can't just throw darts. Like not now they now they have to now they have to be strategic. Exactly. Because you're correct. When Nintendo was coming out, it was coming at a time where people were making games for anything. Like you could have everything. A, like you could have a concept and make a game. And then it, they just the advantage was is that ha- as games, you know, became more popular, they could start implementing like these small ideas of put Mario in a car and oh now the mushroom you don't grow big you go fast like they had that advantage to make those innovations and see what works and what doesn't work but now we're getting into 2024 where people are more picky about games people are complaining about game prices it's graphics 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 processes 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 and you have to be a bit more trist- trist- uh, strategic strategic yeah with the experimentation well, my issue is they're the ones making it about graphics, like, and not saying the graphics don't matter, but like even Elden Ring doesn't look the best in every corner. But the reason it did so great was because it was a quality game. Baldur's Gate 3 did so great. And obviously it's hard to replicate those successes because even those publishers didn't expect their games to do as amazing as they did. Mm-hmm. But like Sony shouldn't be focused on let me make a Mario, let me make a Mario. Sony, if they really want to improve, focus on actually making a good game. Focus on actually being experimentative. And I know that's hard when it comes to like trying to get shareholder buy-in. Mm-hmm. But at Our the same competing. time, but if y'all sit here and say, we're going to per- forcefully try to make Sly Cooper and Ratchet and Clank our Mario, that's not going to be genuine. Because older fans like me are going to be like, well, now why the hell is Sly Cooper but that's, but that's playing what I'm baseball? Saying. But that's what I'm saying, though. When everybody was bringing up all of these IPs that they did have, that could have just been the conversation of that it wouldn't feel genuine or it wouldn't feel like a full attempt at trying to bring out an original IP if we just pull something out the bucket and, and throw it at the wall and see if it sticks. But in my opinion, that's why they should make new stuff like like we've had this conversation where it's like when people are trying to invest millions and million dollars, they want to invest in something that's going to work. Hence Lord of the Rings, hence Velma being based on Scooby-Doo, even though it has nothing to do with OG Scooby-Doo. Like they do this stuff because they're worried and they want to make sure they get their buy-in. But if that's the case, just do a low budget game. Get set aside a budget for something that is not too heavy on the graphics, not too heavy on resources, have a team of like 25 to 50 people. And keep mm-hmm. it small, make it a four year project. Twenty million. Keep it there. I think twenty million they can throw out. I don't know if that's too much or too little for them at this point. That might be too much. Fifth ten million. He said twenty and just try- That sounds like a lot. I ain't no games, but I was like, damn, twenty. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't know how much they cost now. Like wait, Ubisoft when they be have like teams of two hundred, three hundred people working on a game, mm-hmm. that's three hundred people's salaries. Even if they make a minimum wage, that's a lot. I I don't know. I get it. The bottom line is that I get it. I get the complaint. I'm just not really sure what they could do if they wanted something on the scale of Mario. That's going to transgress games, films, and anime. Exactly. Uh, I mean, honestly, the closest thing would be Ratchet and Clank 
Sly Cooper, those Astro Bots. Well, how that they well? Did. How well? Because you remember they put out Ratchet, Clank, Ratchet and Clank. Was it three? A couple years ago, how well did that do? Oh, Rifts Apart. Yeah. Um, I think it did all right. Like it did. It didn't just blow out the blow everything out the water. But I think it did all right to where it got its money back. Because that was like, yeah, that was like the third one in the PS4 reboot to PS5 time frame, I believe. So it did well, but I wonder. Did anybody try to go back and play like the previous ones? Did they even have those available? Because it's a thing with like franchises when you play a game. I'll I'll speak from experience. The first uh Batman Arkham game that I played in the series was Arkham City. That wasn't the first one that came out. Arkham Asylum was first, but that was the Arkham City was the first one I played. And I loved the game so much that I went back and played Arkham Asylum. And then I played the next two games that came after that. So did it do enough to where people who were new to the franchise was like, oh, let me check out the previous Ratchet and Clank <coughs> games? That's what Dragon Age did for me. I played two first. And then I was like, this was cool just to find out, oh, this was actually ass compared to the previous one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I don't... So I wonder, I wonder, even though it did well, did anybody buy into the franchise? Did they try to go back and play the other, if they were available? Because I don't know. Did they try to go back and play the previous installments? Because sure. that could have been a thing they were looking at as well. Like if we put out a new installment of Sly Cooper, Jack and Dexter, is anybody going to invest in the franchise to try to look for the previous content? And if I mean, and if they do, then hey, we got us something that we can latch on to. And if we make another installment, we know people are gonna be checking for it. I mean, my thing is, if that's the case, and this is what they're not going to do, they're just either gonna have to do like Microsoft and shell out money, but Microsoft but Xbox is backed by Microsoft, one of the trillion dollar companies that's in existence right now. While Sony is not is not that blessed when it comes to resources, unless they're gonna acquire some IPs go on a bounty hunt, they got to create something new. And they just got to literally invest time into it. They just have to really feed into it. Like, shoot, go buy Spectros from Disney and see if Disney would like, give y'all, let y'all hold one. Yeah. And what you mentioned, when, what you bringing that up, have you been, have you seen the news about that Concord game that came Concord. out? It's, um... Black Myth Wukong has been all over my timeline and I slick want to get it. So Concord... Well, you're not. You're probably not gonna see anything else about it now because Sony Sony pulled it off the shelves and are giving people refunds. But Concord is a game they launched it like August. I can't remember the date. August something, and they took it off the shelves like permanently. Uh, recently September six, but it they had acquired it from another developer. Like the developer had been working on it since 2019, I believe. Mm-hmm. That's what I heard. Sony acquired them a month later, announced the game was coming out at some showcase. And then the game came out. It sold 10K units on either 10K units on Steam and 15K units on PS5 or 15K units on Steam. Either way, the total between PC and PS5 was 25K units. And they... With two weeks after the launch, they pulled it off the shelf. And that was, a, it had it done well, well, even if it didn't went well, that was an original IP. So did it not do well because of buy-in? Like, did they market it? Because I didn't even hear about it. That's what they're saying, that the rollout for the game wasn't. What is their fault? there's their fault like i'm and i know some but that's what i was saying i'm bringing up the situation because it's funny that you said of like you know to invest and inquire when in this situation where you invested and inquire you didn't handle the marketing you didn't handle it well that's what i'm saying like if y'all want a new ip to go big y'all have to invest in marketing if not the same probably more than your popular IPs. Cause you're not, you're probably not gonna make a Black Myth Wukong that goes viral randomly. You're probably not gonna make a Baldur's Gate 3 or an Elden Ring that just naturally has a thousand streamers. Those are once a year type projects. That doesn't happen often. Like in a lot of people's mind, those those may be frequent occurrences. That doesn't happen for most games. Most games will never amount to that. 
Mm-hmm. Y'all would have to create an IP and market it like it's God of War so that yeah. people can see it, put it in some streamers' hands, get some review copies out there, force IGN and GameSpot to talk about it, mm-hmm. even if it's even if you don't know. Because that's the only way. People are on social media. We're digesting content 24-7. Like, somebody might come in and be like, well, if you didn't hear about Concord, it's because of your algorithm. Exactly, but I always hear about God of War. Yeah. And you think I ever Google God of War? You think I've ever looked up anything about God of War? No. But I will always see it. Just like Black Myth Wukong. I ain't know what that was. And out of the blue, all over my timeline. Or maybe they just need to be more confident in the IPs that they invest in, too. Yeah, for sure. Because going just going back to the Nintendo conversation, even though there's a huge you know time gap between when Mario came out and where we are now, Nintendo was very confident in that Italian man going up them pipes, eating the mushrooms, running real fast, and jumping to the point that old dude who used to vote voice Mario is a Mario ambassador. N- Nintendo loves their stuff so much. How many Mario parties do we have now? Like twelve. Yeah, they stop. They stop doing. They stop numbers. They them. stop doing numbers. Like the next Mario Party is called Super Mario Party Jamboree. How many Super Mario Brothers have we had? We had three back in the Game Boy when you and me was playing the Game Advanced Boy Advance Slash Color. Then they start. Then when the Wii came out, like they stopped calling. Now that I think they just called Super Mario World something. We got about t- t- twelve of those. How so many like, Mario Karts? Mario Kart Deluxe was like number eight reboot. Hey, that's like. Mario Kart A is doing GTA numbers. As far as years, it's doing GTA numbers. That's what I'm saying. Like, what are we talking about here? Y'all will never compete with Mario, bro. It is honestly I, too impossible at this point. Pokemon the, ain't even competing with Mario. From the statement of that you want to compete, I agree. But from the statement of you want a franchise that could be on the scale, I see that point of view and I feel like I, from my personal style, I don't know what you could do other than, you know, what Ryan just said, invest, you know, do a rollout. You know, you, you have to do the rollout. What he just said, you have to give it to these streamers ahead of time. You got to give it to IGN. You have to give it to GameSpot. You got to, you have to be confident in the thing that you're marketing. That's the only thing I could tell you. Or if you want to go to dive in the bucket, you might you just have to be a bit more creative of how you want to reprise certain franchises. If we if if you want to pull Jack and Dexter out, maybe try an animated series. I mean, that's what um Cyberpunk did. Cyberpunk came out, it they had that issue. They came out with the update, things got good. They came out with Cyberpunk Edge Runners that made more people go and play the game. Uh, Phantom Liberty came out that did well, and now they're talking about the next installment for Cyberpunk. Like, shoot, Final Fantasy 15 because 14 was the online one. I remember for their rollout, they had like a four episode anime series drop with the game or dropped right before, and that was like my first Final Fantasy. I always wanted to play them in the past, but I never mm-hmm. got around to it. And I was like, oh, this is hype. Now I want to see the anime series come back. I want to see a bigger version of this. Like, y'all got to invest. They, they do this, the, or they used to, um, with comic book movies. They would release, like, comic book issues that told, like, this is what happens before the movie. I'm like, mm-hmm. I, I think they did it with Black Widow. I know they did it with The Flash. Um, I think they did it with Star Wars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember having a comic book that explains something, some shit that happened before we got to episode three. Hmm. So, like, maybe maybe that's what you have to do. You, But you have to be confident in the IP that you're investing in. You got to make it stick. You got to put in the effort to make it stick. And that's the hard part. Like, you're basically telling them, hey, y'all get $20 million, and it might be new. It might not have no history. Make it work. Yeah. Make it freaking work. And that and that's tough. But if y'all are going to complain about this, that's all you really can do. And like and, I know from a business mind that sucks, but that's all you can do. And it's not like they can't do it. Like if they wanted to make some anime, like you guys bought Crunchyroll. I think in the article I had, I think there was a statement from the CEO of Crunchyroll of like they want to partner and bring some of these things to like the streaming service. So like going back to my Jack. And Dexter 
situation. What's stopping? What? Why not be like, hey, let's pause on the games and see if we can do a Jack and Dexter animated series, an anime. If we see it sticks, some people might go back and play the games, and then we can make more games and we can make more movies, and you know, we we tie in this shit like that. Hell, Ratchet and Clank would make an amazing anime series, honestly. Yeah. Like, and that's and that's the funny thing. Like, Sony has a and they could work. They can make a lot more anime based video games because mm-hmm. now they own. It's not that they own the anime, but they own they have an entire monopoly over anime and manga production over here in the U.S. Like they own right stuff anime now, which is one of the big, biggest manga producers. Y'all own Crunchyroll and Funimation. That's all under your belts. Y'all have those relationships with all of these publishers and developers in Japan. Make something work. Like if y'all maybe Sony just needs to create a new turn based game. Baldur's Gate three had a very unconventional freaking um gaming mechanic and it still did great. Make a new turn based game that's just going to attract a new audience. Expedition thirty three caught my eye from um them that showcases those showcases during the um summer slash spring. Mm-hmm. Like they just have to do it. Like honestly, they just have to take a risk at this point. That's the only thing they can do if they want to. I agree. Make up for their lack of Mario. I agree. They you they're going to have to take a risk they're going to have to experiment with something even if it fails like i get it that a failure if we want to go back to the mario situation a failure in the 1980s is significantly different than a a failure in 2024 but i mean but if that's what you guys want you're gonna have to take the risk hmm i mean Make a Game of Thrones series game. I they tried making one back in the day and it didn't hit for real. But but, with, but I don't think that would serve their purpose though, because yeah, that's, that's not their that's not their IP. Yeah. If anything, that would give Warner Brothers more money bef- before them. <laughs> if and anything. Warner Brothers is definitely putting that on every console. They was like exclusive rights. <laughs> right. Like this, is our biggest brand, one of our biggest brands. Hello. Like stepping out the gate. What a Game of Thrones game? Yes, that is definitely going on PC, Xbox, PS5. Shit, they we gonna put it on the Switch if we can. I was just gonna say, shit, they might fuck around and put it on the Switch. (laughs) Like lower, lower the graphics to like 720p. We gonna drop it. What y'all talking about? If anything, I. But like I said, I I get what they're saying brand wise, but bottom line is you're gonna have to take the risk. Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero looks good. It it feels very nostalgic. Like, when I watched it, it felt very nostalgic. Like, I was immediately transported to where I used to go over at some of my friends' house, and they would play Budokai Tenkaichi, and I was like...